Hi, this is Brandon Slay from thirstgym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the Cambered Bar Bench Press. This is a great exercise to develop strength off your chest, specifically for the bench press. You are gonna need a specialty bar for this called a Cambered Bench Press Bar or a Cambered Bar. It's essentially a bar that's got a giant uh, hole almost welded into the bar so that when this part touches your chest, you're at usually around a two inch deficit, give or take, and then it's still got knurling on it and you can still load it like a regular barbell. Generally, these bars do weigh a little less, like this one I believe is a little bit over 35 pounds. Uh, so just make sure you know the weight of your ball, bar while you're using it. And then they make different cambers as well. Usually two to three inches is the norm. You can see them as big as four, like some of, from some of the old West Side videos. Where they've got a super deep camber in these. Uh, again, this is good for building the strength off your chest because you're gonna have that giant deficit Fair warning though, if you do have shoulder issues, this bar may aggravate your shoulders. So I would just be careful. Um, you do not have to touch your chest with this bar either to see the benefits. We'll kind of show that later, but you can literally get close to the bar and considering this is essentially, a, I think this is a three inch camber. Um, what you'll find is if you're about an inch away, you're still at a two inch deficit, which is still a deep range of motion than if you just had a regular straight bar. So uh, a good implement and what you're gonna do here, just get in your regular bench press position. But because of the camber, there's obviously not like a close grip option. So if you happen to be a narrow grip bencher, this might be in the way. You might just depend upon the kind of bar that you have. I know for me, I have to grab right where that camber essentially starts. I can even feel the weld of where they bent the bar. That's where I always put my hands and then your bench press technique all just stays the same. Set your feet, set your back. You're gonna unrack the bar. You're gonna have to make sure that this is obviously towards the top. You don't want it down here like this, obviously. And then when you unrack the bar, just bring it out in your bench press position. And as you come down, again, like I said, you don't have to get all the way down to your chest. So for like me, that's usually pretty good about where I stop. But if I do want to touch, I can. But as you can see, I'm starting to almost hit the safeties here because of the camber and then back up. But that's a much, this would be where my normal bench press is. That's a good deficit and then back up. So I'm just going to try to meet the bar every time and get as close as I can. And for me, that is a good range of motion. That's a bigger stretch. Hopefully you can see what you want to have happen is you don't want to let your shoulders dump forward like this. I almost can't even do it. Don't have your uh, shoulders dump forward. That's going to be really hard on your bicep tendon and your pec here at your chest. So just make sure that you're in a good position and keep your chest tall, keep your back tight and then everything the same. And then you're just going to re-rack the bar. As such, because of that big camber, like I talked about, the, the big stretch on your pecs, want to make sure you're warmed up well enough. Um, start with the bar relatively light, build your way up. In terms of using this for your training, I don't usually recommend using this as like your quote unquote main movement for the day because of the big stretch. I really don't like like big singles and doubles with this bar. You're like in a big stretch position, which isn't good for your shoulder, especially if you don't have the mobility to do so. But using this for like sub max reps, and trying to build that range of motion over time, but load in that stretch position. I think doing this for sets of like five to six is a great place to start. And then you can kind of just feel it out from there and build your weights up as your shoulders get used to using the barbell. And again, only two to three sets is really all it's gonna take starting off. And then you can build up over time with the tolerance you're gonna have. But because of this camber, it is gonna feel weird. So I still recommend using a regular bench press uh, to, to help your bench press obviously, but use this more as a supplemental exercise in doing so and you'll be in a, in a good spot off of your chest. The other thing is too, is that you can build some isometric strength in that stretch position. So you can even go down there and use long pauses to focus on that big stretch. So if you're constantly missing off the chest, that's what I would do is essentially implement like a spoto press with this bar and then you're gonna find that you have a lot of strength off your chest moving forward. So that's the Cambridge Bench Press Bar and using it to help your bench press. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.